The Great Lakes region is home to post-industrial cities with thousands of vacant polluted properties. These sites, known as brownfields, may have once been gas stations, dry cleaning facilities, or factories. Pollution from these industrial uses can linger in the soil and groundwater, complicating future development. Delta sees brownfields as a true opportunity for communities because they can contribute significantly to the economic development and environmental sustainability of that community. Um, it can take years sometimes to investigate and clean up a brownfield site. And in the interim, these sites can remain vacant and blighted and unappealing to the community. But through things like planting trees for phytoremediation, um, we can add economic value and environmental sustainability for the community. Phytoremediation is the process of using plants and trees to take up harmful contaminants in soil and water, such as petroleum hydrocarbons, heavy metals, and other pollutants. Planting trees or vegetation for phytoremediation can reduce blight and improve aesthetics, reduce erosion from wind, reduce runoff of contaminated stormwater, improve community pride, and even contribute to site cleanup and property values. And mature trees can be harvested for lightweight lumber, landscape mulch, and wood pellets, generating jobs in additional industries. Well, Delta approached us about this tree planting project. And because our community and our local, state, and federal partners have already invested $75 million in the cleanup and restoration of Muskegon Lake, we couldn't pass this up. These trees are going to protect that investment by making sure that groundwater and soils are clean and can no longer affect the quality of the lake. We are right now on the former site of the city's incinerator. And when that operation closed, what was left behind are pollutants like heavy metals and um, petroleum products. So those are in the soil and they can eventually get into the water bodies. So out here we have these hybrid poplar trees that are actually pulling those contaminants out of the soil and they're either storing them or they're converting them to less harmful substances before they release them into the air. So they're in essence cleaning up the property very slowly. By making this site more attractive to redevelopment, we are going to bring in mixed uses. We're going to bring in more people living near the downtown Muskegon Lake frontage. We need that for a more sustainable community into the future. Vacant brownfields can become beautiful economic assets through phytoremediation. Delta Institute can help.